Wei Li Pan is one of the directors behind the telescope that picked up the new signals. He's the director of the Canadian Institute for Theoretical Astrophysics and a professor at University of Toronto. He joins me from Toronto. Professor, how excited are you about these radio sounds? Oh, very much. Um, this is a, really the beginning of a new era. Um, our two nature papers yesterday gave the first glimpse of data taken during what we call pre-commissioning. So this is uh, just the, the testing data that we've been looking at. And the real story really is just beginning now. So this is, um, this, this is the, the beginning of the big splash. Well, what is more remarkable here, the fact that you detected a signal through this telescope or the fact that the signal has repeated itself? The repetition, of course, is the excitement, since this is, a, this is the first new window. Um, I should also stress that this is the first um, search done at these lower frequencies. These are frequencies that were traditionally used for TV broadcasts that um, traditionally were not used for astronomy, and now we're opening up a new window. So what does this mean? Does this mean that there are extraterrestrials out there? Uh, I mean, really, what are some of the theories? Well, we don't know what the uh, what they actually are. Um, there are some best guesses. Astronomers, I think, their favorite object um, is neutron stars um, that are known to exist in our galaxy. Normally, they're not, they're not nearly bright enough to explain these distant um, bright bursts. Um, uh, but it's certainly open to a huge amount of possibilities, from the nature of dark matter to um, fundamental new physics and black holes. Um, so everybody is holding the breath um, about this new development. Well, you are certainly an expert in this field. So if you had your, if you had to put your money on it, what is your guess as far as the source of these radio frequencies? I mean, let me say that I think the most likely, in my mind, is probably the, I would say the most boring possible explanation would be these neutron stars, very exotic versions of them. Um, but nevertheless, regardless of what they are, I think the ultimate nature is only um, part of the um, of the reward that we um, are allowed to are about to collect, because just their very existence means we have these lasers at the edge of the universe that allow us to measure everything in between. It's like um, the mention of the laser itself. Not it's only part of the excitement is why it happens. Even more so is all the applications. So I think this is really opening a new, exciting field. And of course, another part of the equation is this a magnificent telescope. None of this could have been possible without it. Indeed, and this is a new novel idea of having a telescope that is primarily operated by software, where the image formation, performing the image is not done traditionally um, by these parabolic dishes that we see for satellite dishes, but by a big cluster of computers. And this allows us to um, search in new, completely new dimensions in time and in space. When I was doing my research here, I also realized or I found that something similar to these radio sounds were detected in 2015. What is different from that episode and the one that was discovered recently? So there have been about 50 of these bursts um, published um, until yesterday. Um, and the previous ones are all that searched by different telescopes and kind of searched um, randomly. For example, our group found one, as you mentioned, in 2015, um, during our exercise for some other observation. We were, we were looking for the cosmic hydrogen, and in our data found a fast radio burst. So these are previously um, uh, um, just a chance encounters, whereas now we have the um, first full systematic search that is um, uncovering them at a completely unprecedented rate. So we're going to have orders of magnitude more of these uh, in the in a very short while. So it allows us to have, have a systematic study rather than just the very first um, serendipitous um, encounter. Well, we'll wish you the best of luck and congratulations on this massive accomplishment, Professor Wei Li Pan. Thank you.